Welcome to Aster CMI Hospital, where the world comes for international healthcare solutions. Hi, uh, this year is uh, as a part of a World Stroke Day. The theme is on uh, stroke uh, prevention. Okay, as you are aware that uh, stroke uh, is uh, caused by uh, risk factors. We have medical risk factors and uh, behavioral risk factors. Medical risk factors are uh, hypertension, diabetes and um, hyperlipidemia which is uh, increased uh, cholesterol levels in the blood and um, obesity and we have behavioral risk factors like uh, excess uh, smoking or alcohol abuse, physical inactivity. Now uh, these are very much similar to the risk factors uh, which predisposes a patient to a heart attack. Now when it comes to the brain uh, stroke uh, prevention uh, in addition to routine uh, um, blood test like uh, doing the lipids and then uh, uh, looking at the weight and the BMI. Uh, now we introduce to you a special uh, uh, technique which is called as a neurovascular sonography uh, where uh, we do a neck doppler that is called as a carotid uh, duplex and uh, this will allow us to uh, look at the blood vessels and look for any uh, deposition of uh, atheromatous uh, plaque which is a early uh, sign of atherosclerosis and then we have a new uh, a technique called as a transcranial doppler which is uh, called as the doctor's telescope of the brain okay now i would be just demonstrating these two uh, techniques so this is a carotid a duplex machine okay so with the help of the transducer so we scan the blood vessels on the neck and uh, we just uh, uh, move the transducer uh, up and down both transverse as well as the longitudinal or any uh, plaques or any uh, obstructions that we see and number two this is what we can see as a blood flow and we record the blood flow uh, by the doctor. Now this is a transcranial Doppler machine uh, where uh, this is called a transducer, it is a 2 megahertz transducer. By placing on certain uh, points of the head, one can record uh, intracranial cerebral blood flow information. This is where we place on a particular uh, part of the brain and I am just placing the transducer here on the trans temporal area is a part of a uh, uh, head through which I get a uh, flow information. As you can see on the screen, we get a flow information from the middle cerebral artery and what you see as the red and blue are the flow towards and flow away from the probe and from 50 to 70 or 68 is the flow of middle cerebral artery and above that is the flow of anterior cerebral artery and this is the flow information that we are obtaining from the left middle cerebral artery. So with this um, Doppler uh, one can uh, look for any atheromatous uh, plaque that is a fat deposition within the vessel and by the transcranial uh, Doppler one actually can know the blood flow information in the brain and then we do what is called as a breath holding index uh, by which we can know whether the cerebral vessels can vasodilate or vasoconstrict uh, whenever there is a cerebral uh, perfusion difference. So uh, this is uh, test is specifically done for those patients who are diabetic, who are hypertensive, uh, basically who are having vascular risk factors like uh, um, alcohol abuse or smokers and this target population if they have any of the risk factors they can get this uh, test done and we can uh, determine their stroke risk and depending upon the findings uh, medical management or some surgical intervention can be planned in order to prevent a stroke.